today I am looking at the 2014 Patriot Jeep Patriot which belongs to my mother-in-law is having some issues you know it's, it's acting up so we're gonna try to well this one actually we're taking it's still under warranty we're gonna be taking this one to the dealership but what it's doing is let's see when I started it's running it's running really bad it doesn't it loses power so right now we're gonna to try to drive it over to the dealership. Um, but the car shakes. Um, check engine lights on. And then usually when we drive it, another, like it looks like an electricity bolt will come on. There it is. So these are the symptoms. That bolt's coming on. And then you have the traction control light come on also. This has happened before. I think they said that they updated, they updated the computer the last time. And um, so those are the symptoms. And if the car, if I put the car into neutral, it'll it'll shudder. You know, while you're standing here, it'll just uh, shake a little bit. Well, sometimes it's not doing it as bad now. I'm going to try to attempt to drive it now. gas is not really moving much. It's just barely, barely moving. So it's definitely a loss of power. The shifts aren't very smooth. And those seem to be, you know, the symptoms. So I'm just making a video in case somebody has the same, same thing that, um, you know, if it's something similar, then I guess once the dealership runs a diagnostic on it, then we can see what's going on with it. But I mean, if I floor it right now, the car is not going anywhere. I mean, I'm flooring, I'm flooring the car right now, and it's not doing anything. I mean, it's it's going, but it's you know definitely not. You know, I think power is probably a you know probably a quarter of the normal power. So when I floor the car, it just doesn't go like it's supposed to. So it's just kind of like in the limp mode. Uh, so, like I said, I'm gonna make this quick video. When I get the car back, I'll let you all know um, what was wrong with it. Now, I haven't hooked it up to an OBD2 scanner because it, you know it's not my car. It's still under factory warranty. This is a 2014, um, so we're just gonna go and get the work done under the factory warranty. Okay, so I'm driving down the road right now and. As you can see, I'm at full throttle, and this is as far, as fast as this car will go, which is about 20 miles per hour. It doesn't seem to go any any faster than that, uh, even with the throttle fully engaged. I'm at wide open throttle right now, and that's all I'm getting is 20 miles an hour. So obviously, it's kind of running on a, in a limp mode. Now this car, was bought brand new uh, from the dealership by my mother-in-law and actually behind me you won't be able to see a puppy with the glare but my father-in-law bought the same car in a different color um, his car hasn't had any issues um, at all um, but this car you know it, this is the I think it's the second time or third time this has happened I'm not sure if it's related to gas or to bad gas or if it's something that's you know an electrical gremlin um, I'm not sure but you know the last time they that we took it in they just told us that they had to update the um, the ECU or the, you know and and they just gave it back to us and it's been probably over a year since it's done this um, so I'm not sure why it's you know it's doing it again but obviously you know it's not something it's not it's not safe at all <laughs> you know so we're, we're gonna drop it off the dealership and Hopefully they'll let me know what's going on and I can 
um, you know, send that information out to you guys so that you can, uh, if you have the same issue come up, then, you know, it might be something similar to whatever's going on with this car. One eternity later. All right, I'm following up on the uh, 2014 uh, Jeep Cherokee, actually uh, Jeep Patriot that I took into the dealership. Apparently, what they came back with is that it has a bad throttle body. Um, now, the car was taken to the same dealership twice since, three times, this is the third time since the car was new, and they didn't find anything wrong with it the first two times. But conveniently, now that the car is out of warranty, other than powertrain, which the throttle body does not cover it under the powertrain warranty, now they're telling me that they know what's wrong with it, and it's, that it's the throttle body. So the dealer has quoted me now um, 800 and uh, something, $897. So the dealer was $900 to replace the throttle body. So I just go ahead, I just went ahead and I just ordered a new one for 100 bucks off of uh, Amazon and I'm gonna wait for that, but I'm just doing a follow-up video after taking the car in uh, to the dealership for that. And uh, I'm gonna, uh, I guess I'm gonna show you what they came up with. I'm also gonna go ahead and scan the car so that I know what codes are on there so I can do a little more research before I, you know, I tackle the problem. So I just put the car in my garage for now. And All right, so this is what they came up with, loss of power. Throttle light on, code throttle body shorted, 897 to replace, and hell yeah, I declined. <laughs> 900 bucks to replace something that's just a couple bolts. I mean, I know in this car it's a little bit tough to get to because it's underneath the airbox and this and that, but still, no $900, you know, so I'm going to tackle that myself. Um, now, all they did was plug in an OBD2 scanner. Now, they're charging me... Chrysler Shop Supplies, eighteen dollars and forty nine cents. What supplies? Did did the guys wear like some crazy mink gloves to do this? I have no clue. Um, a miscellaneous. I mean, that's the eighteen forty nine. Now this is the other thing. There's documentation, document retention charge, dollar ninety nine. Environmental fee, four dollars. $4 for what? What what could possibly you know, it's kind of, you know, it's HZM hazmat. What kind of hazmat environmental what 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 does this cover? I mean, they plugged in a computer, you know, a scanner into the OBD2 port and that was it. And they're charging me 180 175 bucks. 175 bucks just to tell me that the throttle body's bad just from a scan of the OBD2 port. So the reason I took it in, I usually just scan it myself. It's not my car, but it's something that um, it was, you know, we thought it would be under warranty since it was engine related, but it's not. So we're out 175 bucks for them to tell us to read the codes off of the computer. So I'm just letting you know if that dealership you know, I definitely do not recommend it. I'm not going to name it, but you can guess. You know, we're in Silver Spring here in Maryland. And um, so I definitely wouldn't recommend that dealership. Check out my next video where I'll go ahead and replace that throttle body. Please subscribe and like to keep updated with any other videos that I'll be putting out. Thanks.